Please, gents. It's not magic, it is science. So today we're at the amazing Cheltenham Science Festival to do some live experiments with the Head Squeeze team. And today we're going to look at science busking, a few simple science demonstrations that you guys can try at home. So for this particular demonstration, we're going to have a look at engineering and how structures seem to hold themselves up. And for this we need four willing or non-willing volunteers, uh, which we've got just over by here. Alright guys, you ready to take part in some experiments? Yeah, you don't know what you're going to do yet, right? but I need you to sit in these chairs, right? So if I have you guys one by one, right? And if you sit, sit in this chair facing- This chair? Yeah, facing that way though, yeah. Brilliant. You're up next. Excellent, coming around, coming around. And you can see what we're doing here, we're building a bit of a structure with each of you. It looks like you've done this before. Uh, so we're building a bit of a structure with each of you, but at the moment, you're not actually connected, okay? So what you guys are gonna need to do is all lean back at exactly the same time, right? And this does go well sometimes, it does go wrong sometimes, so all lean back at exactly the same time. Ready, go. <laughs> Perfect, you've done well, you've done well. Right? Um, all these guys now are a, a lattice structure, so they can hold themselves up, but it's not really that strong yet. What I want you all to do is link arms in the middle. So all put your right arm out and link it in the middle, all right? Brilliant, you've done, you're doing really well with this one. So you're all uh, a nice safe structure now. And what should happen now is that each person is leaning on each other person. So they're kind of a self-contained structure. So these chairs are actually a bit redundant now. We don't actually need them. So we're gonna start taking them out, guys, all right? You might wanna uncross your legs. You're a bit nonchalant for this, actually. So all push down with your legs, right, on the floor. I'll start with this one then. You, you're gonna be good on this one, right? I'll start with this one. So push down with your legs, and you take the seat from under you. Okay, there we go. Brilliant, brilliant, it is working. Uh, and again, you need, to let, you need to let go with them. Push down with your legs, push down with your legs. All right, here we go. Push with your legs, push with your legs. All right, push harder, push harder. Nice, all right, that's starting to come out. Excellent. One more, one more, push down with those legs, push down with those legs. Go for it, I'm gonna take that out. Push down, push down. All right, push. <laughs> there we go. Nice, it's starting to come out, starting to come out. Bit by bit, bit by bit. And one last one, one last one. We shall see if this works. Okay, push down with your legs, push down with your legs. I'm gonna give it a pull. It will work, it will work. Here we go, here we go. Hold on, let's push that in. And ladies and gents, what a self contained structure. Look at these guys here. Right now, you're all really, really nice and stable, right? Everyone try pushing together at the same time to stand up. No, all right, so push to stand up. Three, two, one, go, push, 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 push. No. Well done, well done though. One self-contained structure using engineering and that lattice framework built entirely out of people. So this demonstration is all about topology. It's the, the science and mathematics behind making connections and Houdini was a fantastic mathematician. He knew intricately how a piece of string or a piece of rope kind of connected together. And that's what we're going to do with, uh, with two volunteers. Uh, these two here, hey guys, all right? Uh, for this demo, all you're going to need is a couple of fingers, right? Actually, to be more specific, your thumbs, yeah. Uh, and your thumbs, is it okay if we use yours? That's fine. Uh, and I saw that you have a ring on as well. Could we use that? Is that all right, does it come off? Uh, let's use that then. And all you need to do is drop it on the end of there. You will get it back. Because this isn't magic, it's science. It's not an engagement ring, don't worry. <laughs> oh, that was said a bit sorely then, that was, all right. Uh, that goes on there, okay. And now, that is, if it was your engagement ring, right, you imagine that's on there, you really want it back. Um, but what you can't do is cut the piece of string, you don't have scissors, you can't cut his thumb, well you could, <laughs> but that would go, you'd never get an engagement ring then. Uh, and all you need to do is get this off by making connections with the rope. How would you imagine you, you would do that? And we said you can't cut the string, you can't undo this knot, and you can't cut his thumbs off. It's all about making connections with the rope. What do you reckon? <laughs> Try making a couple of different loops in different ways. You can't take that off there. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, that's it. You can try looping over thumbs and stuff. That's, oh, that's, that's good. That's actually made it worse, but that's all right. <laughs> uh, you've got to, it's like a, a, fail, a fail system. Uh, where you test it and then not test it. So you, that didn't work. There you go. What about my thing? 
Do you actually believe that it's possible to do? All right, I'll tell you what, then close your eyes. Okay. Right, and I'll tell you when to open them again. I'll solve it. And I'll prove that it's possible, that science actually works and it's not magic. Okay, so close okay. your eyes then. Ready? Okay, so that goes over there. That goes over there. And as you'll see, pull your hands apart. There you go, open your eyes. That's for you. All right. We'll run that through just, just one more time, all right? And even when people see how to do this, they still don't really get it. It takes a lot of practice uh, to do. So I tell you what, I'll talk you through it, okay? So making connections with the rope. So the first connection you want to make, you want to put your left hand across the top and hold onto that rope. Go. Then your right hand here, holding that rope. And then they both want to go over the top. So make a crisscross. There we go, that cross. This loop goes over this thumb. Okay, brilliant. Keep hold of this. You can let go with the sand. Then any one of these two goes over that thumb as well. Okay, brilliant. Over the top, over there. Excellent. Now it looks like a bit of a mess now. But in fact, it's not. It's just the connections are making it look that way so that we can actually take that ring off. So if you hold on to the ring now, okay, and let go with this hand, it actually what? comes off. Ladies and gents, it's not magic, it is science. Topology there for you. All right? And you've got your ring back. <laughs> Thank you very much. Maybe next time it'll be an engagement ring. <laughs> Everyone knows that they're left and right handed, probably left and right footed, but you're actually left and right brained, left and right nostrils and left and right eyed as well. You've always got that master eye that you'll line up uh, something with. So I like to accost other people at this science festival, other science communicators. So we've got Jamie Gallagher uh, here with us as well, who's kind of loitering around, but doing work as well. Yeah, work doing eventually, shows. but loitering's a good description. For, for this one we are. So we're going to do the, the master eye experiment for this. So Jamie, off in the distance, we've got James May's uh, lovely face on our head squeeze stand. Uh, and all we want to do is make an okay sign with our hands, and with both eyes open, we're going to encompass his head in that sign, uh, in that little circle. And then alternately we close your left and right eye, so you're doing that kind of thing, and it'll jump out and back in to that. So you can try that yourself, not right now, because you're watching this video, but in a bit. Uh, and it jumps in and out, yeah? Whichever eye is open, when, you've got, uh, when it's in the circle, that's your dominant eye, that's your master eye. Which one is it for you? Left. Your left eye? Yeah. So it's this eye. Yep. You know which one your left is, yeah. but it's, it's your left eye. And that works with absolutely anything. So your left and right, your left handed, no, right handed, right -handed left yeah. right footed? I don't know. One of, one of them, so two of options. Them. It works with the camera as well, actually. So if we uh, do the same thing and just encompass now with both eyes open, you should see, we can see straight through with both eyes, but you guys should see it encompass just our one eye. For me, it's my right. For you, it's your left. Your left as well. There we go. Master eye. Oh!